Hey, it's Ubu, and today we're playing a game called Pools. This is the demo. You can find it on Steam for free, and it's developed by Tensori and published by Tensori. If I'm saying that correctly. Um, yeah, this looked really interesting to me because it's in the same vein as a game kind of like Dream Core that I've played a couple of times, which I very much enjoy as a uh, focus on liminal space immersion sort of in, uh, environmental uh, horror in a sense. It doesn't have any monsters or any big jump scares. It focuses on sort of just the oppressive, uh, claustrophobic, afraid of the dark or tight spaces kind of uh, feel and approach to their game design, which sounded very interesting to, in my opinion. Dreamcore is very similar to that. There's not really any monsters in Dreamcore either, and I'm only using that as an example because of the pools being a level um, as well in Dream Core as it is in this demo. Anyways, this sounded very interesting to me because I even, I read somebody talking about this, I think it's the Alpha Beta Gamer, I forget, I think that's their name. Um, they talked about how some of the levels will be focused on just 10 to 30 minutes in length, and there'll be more about you just sort of trying to find the exit, um, rather than just a huge, you know, giant, ever-sprawling sort of level like Dream Core is. Anyways. Enough comparisons. Uh, we'll give this a try and see how it is. And um, like usual in my videos, I will talk about the game and my thoughts at the end of the video. If you're not familiar with my channel, at least, that's what I do here. Anyways, so we'll press play. <laughs> it's a pretty weird menu. <laughs> it's like a um, like a video player. Sounds like somebody climbing down a ladder or up at a ladder. I, I don't know. That was weird. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, okay. There's a ladder. Okay. Hey. Well, this looks really good. Oh, I didn't expect us to sit down. We even took like a a big breath, like ah. Okay, this is this is interesting. I liked the idea of it being focused on immersion. I don't seem to have a flashlight. Hey, we can sprint in the water. Nice. Game is a little jumpy. I think it'll smooth out. Wow, look at this place. This looks cool, dude. I just sort of picked a direction and went with it. What I usually do in these kind of games, just like, we'll see what happens. Oh god. Alright, I guess we'll just continue forward. I've been really into these kind of games uh, as of late on my channel. I like the aspect of just strange geometry and level designs are very fascinating to explore um, that these developers come up with using the uh, aesthetics, you know, of liminal spaces that we're familiar with, like the pools and things like that. It's cool to see everybody have their own sort of design and take on it. And uh, games like this really let your mind uh, play tricks on you. Very, It's very interesting to me why I enjoy these. Okay, so far so good. 
I don't want to walk in the dark spaces. It's kind of spooky. Wow. Oh, this is really bright. Ooh. Holy crap, dude. All right. Okay, it looks like a slide. One of those spiral slides. Oh my god. Why would we do this? I assume we don't jump. <laughs> I feel like that'd be a bad idea, right? Oh my god. Okay, well if you're afraid of heights, you, you definitely won't be doing that. Let's um check out the slides. Wow. Some sharp turns in that slide, good god. Water looks pretty good. Oh, this is like really deep. This is like neck high water or something. Oh my goodness. I wish we had a flashlight. <laughs> What is that? Huh. Another chair. Let's have a seat. Huh. I wonder if those will be associated with some kind of achievement or something. Whoa. The game is a little jumpy, like I said. Um, I have, like... Hello? I didn't like that. Kind of like some kind of beast. Ooh. Okay, this is the big room we were just in. Oh my goodness, that sounds crazy. Hello? <laughs> okay. Okay. Weird, dude. This game definitely has a, a strange sort of texture to it. The walls look kind of wet, very reflective. Hello, rubber ducky. Weak. Oh my gosh. Let's go, let's go in here. <laughs> this is scary, but let's go look. Oh no. Oh my god, it's dark. Ew. Oh, look at this. Wow. All right, let's see where this takes us. Oh, sorry, the footsteps for a second tricked me. It made, me, it made it sound like there was another set, and it kind of scared me. Okay, we went way up. Apparently there is an end to this level. Or all the levels in the game. 
Like, they're not meant to just kind of go on forever. Oh, okay. We actually went down on the... Okay. Whoa! It's like slide in the woods. <laughs> Wee! <laughs> Whoa, that was crazy. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Pretty good sound design so far. Another clock on the wall, I think. I don't know why I thought that was another path right there. That's okay. All right. Let's see what's at the end of the hall. Other than a light, of course. Uh-oh. I hope they didn't lie to me and there really is a monster in this game. I swear I just heard a loud splash. I don't want to be in here anymore. <laughs> I don't want to play. I don't want to play anymore. <laughs> Yeah, this is what I'm talking about. This part, these... Yeah. This is where these games shine. This part is really super creepy for no reason. Dead end. Oh! Oh my god, that scared me. There's a person's hands on that ladder right there. Oh my god. <laughs> Do you see that? <laughs> I I don't want to walk near that. That is really weird. That was very well played, sir. For a second, I thought it would just be like... Like a hole or something, and then I look down. <laughs> oh my god, that's creepy. I like this. You're like tapping. I like the the way the lighting looks here. And when you move out of the room, like the the way the light is exposed to her eyes is like different. I think that makes sense. I think that looks good. You know, like, if it's really bright, sunny day outside, and then you walk into, like, a dimly lit sort of, like, restaurant or something. Just sort of the bright, just the way your eyes change. <laughs> you know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying. I'm not crazy. <laughs> a strange room. It's another diving board. Man, now, I, I wonder if something happens... If you jump off these diving boards. Oh, there's not a ladder to this one. Well, there is, but it's, it's way up there. <laughs> Two chairs this time. Let's have a seat. Ah. Uh... Okay, let's go. Excuse me, I was thirsty. So far, I would say this game is different enough. It's actually quite unique um, in the way it's designed so far. 
even with the familiar aesthetic. That was super weird. Hands on the ladder like that. Oh, what is this? Oh my god. I can't tell what that is out there. Whoa! That looks crazy. Okay, let's take it easy here. I am very sure that we can fall off. What is this? Oh, it's a diving board. Can't see. So what do we do? Well, let's just try it. Why not, you know? Thank you for playing the demo version of Pools. Okay. <laughs> D did we win? <laughs> All right. Uh, so they have a Discord, it looks like, and uh, you can go to the Steam page through this as well. I'm not sure what this does. It takes us back to the... Oh, so we can, like, rate the level. Interesting. Well, I'll share my final thoughts. I'll think about what I'm going to rate it while I talk. Uh, I definitely want to go through this again and um, explore it further. I think I'll save that for another video just so I can savor this game. Uh, because I found another diving board and there were obviously levels or areas that I didn't go to. I wonder if there's multiple ways to exit the level. Or if just in this demo state, that's just maybe the only way out. Because, you know, there was another diving board I could have fallen off of. And it would be strange to be able to fall off it that early. And the demo end that early. But I guess that's all maybe the point of how you explore and um, look through this game. I think it's really cool. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, I want to say I like the idea that uh, it's it feels unique enough being a game that use it's using the pools aesthetic of the you know the liminal space world and everything that we're familiar with. I think it definitely felt unique enough, and it was that's refreshing in my opinion. Sometimes you play these games. I think it's easy to play a liminal space game like that's backrooms, like backrooms a project or backrooms expedition, or backrooms uh, the lost tapes or all the ones that I've played. I think they've all done a pretty decent job of feeling like their own games rather than just copy and paste backrooms experiences. Um, and I think that's really impressive because there are obviously very trending, like popular aesthetics with these games. Like of course the yellow backrooms, then there's the pools, there is the um, like strange like houses like uh like we're inside almost like office buildings and you know all sorts of things like that are, are very much like used over and over again but I, i'm glad that every time i play one of these games it, it's able to do enough to feel different and i appreciate that so like i said even though i didn't explore the entire level and there were things that were missing i did feel like I, it was a new experience for me even though i've played games with pool rooms before so I think that's a very good thing for this game. Um, the sound design is pretty solid too. I like the way the footsteps sound. I like strange sort of tapping you can hear like on the lights on the wall. There's, you know, the water sounds pretty good. The water looks good. But um, everything sounds pretty good. I like the weird sound of like the, almost like a big monster groaning or something like that. I, I thought that was a pretty cool like, what the heck is that? Like, what I, makes you wonder, what is it? You know, like, is it a person or is it just some kind of being that's just, you know, messing with you? Some kind of entity or something? I think that's fun to think about. The sound design, I would say, is pretty solid as well. I very much like the way, it, the way it was. I think it was pretty immersive. I think everything sounded pretty good. Let, you know, ladders and everything like that. So, yeah, good job on that. Visually, I think the game is pretty solid as well. 
It has almost a strange sheen across a lot of the walls and the environments. But I think the use of lighting is very effective. Very, very effective in the way the game looks. The, the lighting is a big part of that. Just the, just the immersive sort of uh, sh like shading from the light sources in different rooms and how they affect the rooms next to them. I think the flow of all of that looks really good. I, I I like that a lot. At least me to me personally, I think it looks pretty solid. The and even the lack of lighting is very effective, very spooky, very strange. So I think lighting is extremely important in games like this, and I think it did a pretty good job. I don't really think I have anything to necessarily complain about. I think the only problem I had is that the game was a little bit jumpy. It, it seemed to struggle on my computer a little bit. Uh, maybe it's the way that I do things with my recordings. It kind of strains my computer with some games. And in the options, there isn't, unless I miss something, there isn't a whole lot to maybe reduce the strain on my computer. M maybe with some of the um, things, like I'll show us real quick. So there's film grain, chromatic aberration, which a lot of people don't like, but these are default settings right here. And I didn't think the game looked all that bad with these on default. I don't know if these would necessarily affect the performance of the game. I do have it limited to 60. You can change the field of view. And I have V-Sync checked, I believe. This has got you know, like a black dot in it. I turned off motion blur. It's one of the, I think that's the only thing I changed on the settings because I don't like motion blur in games. Maybe something like interactive water and maybe something like that. Maybe the lighting quality can be changed. Um, and it also has image upscaling, which I have disabled. Yeah, so I'm not sure if there's anything that can help the performance of it or if it's just the way I'm recording uh, that's straining my computer. So that would be the very small, tiny complaint that I have about this. It, it functioned fairly well. But I think just the, seeing the small jittering here and there was a little bit distracting. Anyways, overall, I'll go ahead and give this a five star on this level. I thought it was a pretty solid level. Um, <clears throat> I guess my final judgment for the demo for pools will be I would say it's pretty good it's a little bit better than average than I expected I think it actually has a lot going for it even for a demo a demo demos when I rate them I especially like playing demos because I want to help give some sort of constructive criticism as best I can uh, because I think demos are extremely important in getting people to play your games you really want to hook people in and I think that's extremely important for a demo to do that effectively. Don't give people maybe too much because you, then you want them wanting more. You know, like, oh, I really liked that. I can't wait to play the full game. And I would say, especially, I'm a, I'm a little bit biased towards these games. I very much enjoy these games. But I try to stay as honest and as transparent as possible with these. And this game, I think, in my opinion, did a really good job in me wanting to play more of it, which is an extremely important part of making a demo, in my opinion. So I think it did a really good job at that. So with my pretty good, I would say it's pretty good. It's above average, uh, in my opinion, for a demo. I think it did a really good job, really solid job. Because I even want to play the demo again and re-explore and see if there's anything else that I miss, which I will definitely do in a future video. Um, I will leave a link in the pinned comment below for you to go check it out for yourself. Tell me what you think in the comments below. What are your thoughts on this game and games like this? Did you enjoy my video? And did you like the way this game is designed and its um, aesthetics and the way it sounds? Do you agree or disagree with anything I said about it? I want to hear all of your thoughts. So let me know. I comment, I, I reply, and I you know read all of my comments. So yeah, let me know what's up. And if you enjoy my content, hit subscribe, like, comment, share, do all that fun stuff. I'd really appreciate that. It helps my channel grow and get me out there in the algorithm. I'd really, really appreciate that. But yeah, this is pretty solid. Keep up the good work, and um, I wish you the best of luck on this game. I'm very excited to play more of it, more levels. And I'll definitely check it out uh, again. I'll play the demo again, actually, here soon. And uh, I will definitely check out this full game when it releases. So keep up the good work. I appreciate this. Anyways, I think that's all I have to say about it. So thanks for hanging out with me, and I'll see you in the next one.